Hello everyone. Um, today I'll be reviewing the book called Ocean of Churn. And this is written by Sanjeev Sanyal. Now Sanjeev Sanyal is an economist and a historian. He's not an academic historian and it really shows in his work. It's very accessible and it's quite different from your traditional te history textbooks. Um, it's far less pedestrian. Now, the book itself uh, covers all of Indian history from the earliest times, I'm talking about the Indus Valley Civilization, to the present day. But what is most interesting about this work is that it covers events and personalities that do not often feature in our textbooks. Um, just to give you one example, uh, Martanda Varma. Now, before reading this book, I'd never heard of Martanda Varma. Now, Martanda Varma was this king in uh, Travancore, Kerala in the 1940s, sorry, 1740s, who actually beat the Dutch. And this is when the Dutch were at the peak of the power. They were global superpower back then. And the Battle of Kolachal took place in 1943 between Martha and Varma and the Dutch Navy. And he sunk the entire Dutch fleet. And oddly enough, after the Dutch defeat in 1743, uh, that is when the British started rising in the region. That gave the space to the British to expand. Uh, I never heard of Martin de Varma, and this is just, I'm just scratching the surface. There's many such personalities like Queen Abaka, and there's so many more you'll find who we often don't hear about. They are heroes, uh, and you'll be quite surprised by them. Um, but beyond just covering different personalities and uh, the people who we don't hear about, but the focus of the book itself uh, is different. Uh, for starters, this book focuses a lot on the Indian seas and the Indian Ocean. Of course, this book is called The Ocean of Churn. Uh, with regard to its focus, um, you hear a lot about India's impact um, on Southeast Asia, on Middle East, and this is from the earliest times, from ancient times to the present day. I particularly love this part is because uh, I've traveled a lot in Southeast Asia and Middle East, and uh, this puts in context uh, a lot of the influ Indian influences I did see in this region. Now I know how they came about. Uh, and finally, this book does go into present history. Um, and sorry, this book does present history, uh, but from a very Indian viewpoint. Um, and that, this is a good thing. It actually focuses on India and its impact on the other cultures. Um, again, this is to juxtapose it against, uh, say, what I read in my NCRT textbook, where modern day history from the arrival of Europeans is presented from a very European manner, not from an Indian manner. Uh, Battle of Plassey, Battle of Blaxar, um, the Charter Acts. So it's always the English impact on Indians rather than the other way around. Uh, this book does highlight the Indian impact on the rest of the world, even into the modern era. Um, so just to conclude, I absolutely recommend this work and I do plan to read some of uh, the other work by this author. Um, this author has also written um, a book called History of Indian Geography and the Land of Seven Rivers. I look forward to reading them. And uh, this is my review. Um, I, I encourage you to buy this book.